You're getting a chance at the family you've always wanted. I could feel you judging me the second we left. What's going on, Ralph Angel? What's wrong with you, baby? How come you ain't just tell me the truth? The Bordelons are back. Queen Sugar, the hit TV show from director Ava DuVernay, returns to own for the second <coughs> half of season two next Tuesday, October 3rd. Mark your calendars. <laughs> the season chronicles the lives of the Bordelons, the three siblings left to manage the sugarcane farm they inherited from their father. It also touches on themes of incarceration, police violence, and the ways that slavery continues to cast a long shadow over the lives of African Americans today. Now, when we last left the Bordelons, they were still dealing with the aftermath of the discovery that their father intended to leave all of the land to his son and the youngest Bordelon sibling, Ralph Angel. And joining me now is the actor who brings <coughs> Ralph Angel to life, Kofi Sirabo. It's so good to meet you. Good to be here. So this show is a phenomenon. Thank you. <laughs> do you, do you, I mean, do you have that sense of it yet when you just sort of walk around in the world? I do. I see how people respond to it, but, you know, it's like, a, it's like a child, you know, when you birth that child, it doesn't matter how amazing and beautiful, handsome, famous, it's like, that's your baby. You yeah. Know, we put so much time and I've seen it grow from nothing, so. Yeah. It's, 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 it's like, I know what y'all feel, but it's, it's, it's different to me. And you're yeah. very young. I mean, I think, you know, we were, we were just talking before that, you, you know, you, you're the person who plays your nephew, the guy who plays the nephew Mike. in the show, uh, Mike, and you are the same age, yeah. uh, which is mind-blowing because you definitely read older on camera, and he reads much younger than he is, obviously, um, on Because I got a baby, too, that's why. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and you play a dad. But it right. is, your character, I think, has become the linchpin of the show for so many reasons. Mm. There's a young black man, Ralph mm -hmm. Angel, mm -hmm. and he's actually a really interesting character in terms mm. of his attitude toward masculinity, mm -hmm. his sort of tenderness with his son, mm -hmm. the fact that he was incarcerated and that he's dealing with that. Mm -hmm. What is it like to play that kind of a character? <coughs> do, you, do you relate to Ralph Angel? Do you, did you have to get to know him yourself? I see what you're saying. I learned so much through this little situation right Sorry, now. Sorry, <laughs> your piece. Yeah, no, but I learned so much through Ralph Angel. You know, yeah. as far as identity, I am a black man in America, so yeah. I understand that weight. You know, that's inherited with birth, but just the, the mass the incarceration, you know, being a father, you know, his, his dynamic with Darla, you know, I have brothers, I don't have sisters, you right. know, just that whole, there's just so much life, like you said, that, that, that is internal for him. And yeah. trying to find that or, 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 or understand where he's coming from, it's a journey, you yeah. know, and I don't think he knows yeah. himself, which yeah. is why it makes it so, so fun. Well, the other piece <clears> of it is that you're playing this young, you know, Southern uh, African-American man, right. but you yourself are first generation American, yeah. like myself, yeah. uh, and your parents are from Ghana. Ghana. So, well, yeah, the, and, you're, and actually, I got a little bit of a tip on that you are from, you're related to the royal family in Ghana. Yeah, yes, you're actually from a, a yes, very important family. God. What is it like growing up an American kid in an African family? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just think it's the best of both worlds. Yeah. It, it immediately you, not immediately, but you, again, inherit this understanding that there's so much more. You know, it's more than just America. And I mean, let's keep it real. We're all from Africa. Yeah. So just actually knowing where I'm from in Africa. And I went back for the first time last year. Yeah. You know, so I, I appreciate that I'm older now and I actually understand how important it is to know our roots because, yeah. again, identity. You know, when I, when I, I didn't realize how much it would, it would empower me to know mm -hmm. that my blood isn't here in America, you know? And, yeah. and it's no knock to America. I fully wear my American, you know, right. resident, but, it, but it's like, let's be real. Where yeah. am I? I'm from Africa. Yeah. yeah, and yet this character that you're playing, you know, the family is enmeshed in this truly African-American story yeah. with all the residents of yeah. slavery and that land and what it means to yeah. the family. You know, did you have to sort of reacquaint yourself with kind of that aspect Absolutely. of being a black man? The crazy part is New Orleans does that to you naturally. Yes, you know, I met so many cool people who, that's their conversation. And yeah. I've always been interested, but coming from LA, there's not a space to really like devour that. Right. You know, you could, yeah. you could, you know, read yeah. a book, you could talk about it, and, but but to actually just that's normal. Like yeah. if we want to get drinks, we're not talking about the game. We're talking about they just took down the statues. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Robert yeah. E. Lee. Yeah. You know, so that's it. Kind of just came with the with the journey. You yeah. know, and naturally, I'm I'm such a student, so I'm just like yeah. you know, I'm looking, I'm 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 just. Fully taking it in. Well, you're obviously a, a, a star on the rise, and you're coming in sure, at a high right. level, working with Ava DuVernay and Oprah Winfrey <laughs> in your first series, yeah. and then of course in Girls Trip, the hit <laughs> movie of the year. Yeah. Are you overwhelmed yet, or are you just chill? Um, I was overwhelmed, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm chill. I'm transitioning. You know, yeah. it's, it's highs and lows, yeah. but 
I mean, how do you adjust to fame? You know, how do you adjust to I don't know. mass attention? Yeah. You know, you well, don't. you're about to have to adjust to like probably everyone on my staff wanting to take a picture <laughs> with you, and I'm going to get a photo with, with you as well. Kofi Sirabo, it was so great to meet so you. So nice to meet you. Wonderful too. meeting thank you. you Congrats me. on all your success. Appreciate it. All right, thank you very much. And more AM Joy is coming up after the break. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.